Hi everyone, welcome to Good Morning Toowoomba with Ben Apsey. I'm Daryl Nicholson, Toowoomba 4350TV with the Stanthorpe 4380 because I'm um, promoting Stanthorpe as well, a great region mate. And um, today with Graeme Strain. How are you mate? I'm well. I've even got a zebra cut. I know, I know. this is part of the... Um, I'm trying to work out how I hold this. <laughs> it's mm. like I'm firing a gun. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Welcome, it's Monday the 27th of July in the year 2020. Graham, what do you reckon they'll look back at these videos and go, God, these guys were awesome? Oh, absolutely, and I wonder how the zombie apocalypse didn't happen. Someone was <laughs> talking at work last night. The US government have got a zombie apocalypse plan in place, because we were laughing about Space Force, how the movie came out, all that series, and then Space Force has been created by Trump, but they have got zombie ap apocalypse. But have you seen the weather outside? It's cold, it's windy, it's drizzly, it's freezing. We have a little bit of fog and mist. We we have an, an imminent epidemic in place. I'm sorry, I've seen too many of these movies. I know it's it's pretty awesome, eh? So, mate, welcome to the show, mate. Yeah. Tell us, um, mate, COVID. I must admit, COVID's been pretty good to me. It's been good for Ben as well because he's changed his direction now with um study and um next week, next Wednesday, we officially launch a few things. Not this Wednesday, Wednesday week, officially launching a few things down here. But tell us what COVID's done for you. Um, um, second week of April, we were 38% down, and Ouch. and I sat all the staff down, and we said, you know, you know all the pre prepared, you know, yeah. job keeper, everything. I'm assuming, and we got to the point we were basically defrosting the fridge and going to lock the door and yeah. come back in a couple of months. Okay. Um, at the end of that month, it we turned into. Um, we were 19% down. We missed out on qualifying for JobKeeper. May turned into our biggest retail trading month we've ever had. May, okay. Yep. yep. Uh, like literally the foot traffic was something unbelievable. Yep. Um, June was a uh, cracker. We ended up being 14 grand down on the financial, previous financial year. Right, okay, yep. And it's just been unbelievable. It's, okay. I just, I can't explain it. Mm -hmm. I'm putting it down to having really good staff, yep. really good people around us yep. and just, Toowoomba being a good place to do business? I think Toowoomba is brilliant and Ben we've seen a few things going on with um, different charities and that sort of thing around the place and um, I think the people of Toowoomba do dig deep so someone's trying to contact us here we'll just uh, ignore that vibration Some, someone's vibrating there. Oh that's me. Oh that's you? Okay. Busy man so um, it's Space Force yeah. calling. <laughs> Space Force. <laughs> Who mentioned Trump yeah. is on to us. Yeah. So a few things I want to talk about. Jen at Emerge uh, reached out over the weekend um, or through the week really struggling down there, $250 a day, can't make no, ends meet. So um, I didn't see the article in Saturday's paper, mm -hmm. but the Toowoomba community had a, got together on Friday, she had a big day. Not a so huge day, and she had another huge day Saturday. Yeah. So um, look, if you can help emerge out. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Food's Please good, coffee's that. good. Yeah. She's doing it for all the right reasons. Yeah. You know, that's why we jumped in and helped. I just, you know, the, the more she helps these kids, the, the, is the, is the more it helps us. Yeah, no, that's brilliant, brilliant. And Chris um, Lipke, mate, two more cars he's given away. He's a madman. <laughs> Bloody brilliant madman. I just, he, he, remember that time we got him down to homeless for a week? Mm -hmm. He had a wad of cash. It was five, five grand. grand, I think, he got between oh. his staff and the public. And Because he said to me, when I went and talked to him about homeless for a week, he goes, I don't want to know about homeless people, da da da. But when he saw what I was doing with him and he said, can I come down and present some money, I went, yeah, and he brought his boys down, and they got an appreciation of what Nat and Tiff do, so. Oh, look, he, um, I, I've always rated all the community stuff that, the, that they do there, you know, Chris and team, it's just, it's sensational. Yeah. I mean, uh, any time he asks, I'll jump in and help. Yeah. I just love when he gets involved in these things, mm -hmm. so he goes in with both feet, both arms. Next Monday night, what are you doing? You come homeless for a night with us? Maybe. <laughs> well, you can nominate, mate, because we're As out. long as it's not a day like today, yeah. we'll... Oh, no. <laughs> so, Homeless for Nights next Monday, the third of August. Yep. Um, so look, if you if you can um, nominate, so, please join. If not, drop some money in our account, mate. Absolutely. We'd be happy with that. Yep. So we like, might be uh, Daryl and I might be a little bit on the nose on the Tuesday. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that might help out Unilever. I I, I was sore on yesterday. I was waiting at work. Unilever have had the worst trading figures for personal hygiene products, deodorant, and that since COVID came in figures are down and I'll just say to Ben, I haven't bought any aftershave. I've gone very, if I was staying at home, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so Unilever is struggling. Don't Unilever own Weiss? Uh, or is that a different company? No, that's Unilever. 
Oh, it is, same yeah. company, so I will, they might make up for it with we, so. Um, we'll make up with it by sparring everyone. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Homeless for a night. Mate, I'm going to throw to you about New South Wales, Kim, because you've been following New South Wales with COVID. Tell us what Arnie Gladys is doing. Uh, well, I don't know what we're doing. The, um, it's, it's interesting, everyone keeps asking, are oh, they going to close the borders again? They're going to close the borders again. I think if they don't get it under control, then they yeah. might, but they seem to be always hovering around that 14, 15 mark, yeah, which, is, which is good. It's yeah. not and 400 and something yeah. like that. And like they're talking containment, not eradication. Yes. Um, um, the concerning thing was yesterday, one of the cases of 14, 13 of them they can trace, mm -hmm. all to the, the same sort of outbreak that they've had. One of them, no, Can't find it. no starting block to okay, go. Right. Like, well, where did you get it? Have you yep. been to these places? No. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. So it's still important, everyone. Please sign in wherever you go. We we've got a system at the sporties now. The you have to sign the members in. even have to sign in. If you, give, if you give the incorrect details, you can be prosecuted quite severely. Yeah, so. Absolutely, most places now, you, it's even your Q, QR code, just dip it in and uh, you've already yeah, got so it. We've got on the front yeah. door here, yeah, QR code, nice beep, done. Did that at Julie's yesterday, they were very yeah. good, so yeah. it's really cool. Um, so Victoria's still out of control. Um, 10 deaths over the weekend. 459 positive tests, so... That was Saturday. Um, we still yet to hear what they did yesterday, yeah, so... so Chairman Dan still got a, a challenge down Comrade. There. Com Comrade Dan. <laughs> Comrade Dan. Okay. No red flags. No yes. red flags. No red flags. <laughs> <laughs> like, t tw the last 12 months, you've lost... Is it 12 months? You've lost a little yeah, weight? Tell 12, us what you've done. Uh, about 28 kg in the last 12 months. 28. 20, what did, what did, uh, what did Mr because Johnson because work out? 24% of us weight. That's a quarter, so... Yeah. So what have you, is it stuff going in your mouth or you do um, your 5 a.m. walks, I don't know. Yeah, 70% um, food, 30% exercise. Okay, so you're really watching what you put in your uh, mouth. Um, especially coffee and zebras, you know, that's what <laughs> um, the, oh, look, A lot of it has literally been a diet change, but, you know, things like, you know, I really have soft drink now. And, okay. Um, yeah. One of the, the crazy things is that we had, um, is even just, we had the big plates for the high edge. Yep. Turfed a lot, got the smaller ones at the bevel. We've even, even our food bill has come down dramatically because okay. of it. That's clever. Mm. Oh, well done. Jeez. Um, okay. And, yeah, and, um, yeah, you see me walking my dogs most mornings and finding nice places to take photos and all that <laughs> sort of stuff. And, um, but, the, you know, the one big thing that my wife and I worked out of this mm -hmm. consistency, whatever you're doing, you must be able to enjoy doing it mm -hmm. so you can get up and do it every day. And she's got a new Facebook page going. What's it called again? I B Project Me. B Project Me. Yeah. Okay. Check that out. And B uh, Project Me on yep. Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Yep. Um, and Teal is doing it just to tell her story yep. about where, you know, I mean, if anyone's got, um, is able to tell a story about trying every diet, trying mm -hmm. everything, losing, failing, winning, and then finally reaching a point where she's able to. You, know, you, you guys are seeing the difference. Oh yeah, yeah. it's just it's just brilliant. Okay, we'll check and, that out. And um, yeah. yeah, and it's yeah, and she's just hoping to, she can help a few other people. And, Excellent. And you know, if she can help one or two, then yeah, she just thinks it's a win. I really love what's happening in Toowoomba with everyone just sharing what they're doing yeah. and, and pulling together. It's really cool. Ben, going off the, the, ABC, the ABC, don't like it though. <laughs> yeah, they don't, don't want to start a podcast. podcast. I'm not allowed to start podcasts. I'm telling you, in, aug in August, if you want to do a podcast or you want to do your own live blogs, we're going to have a facility to help you with that. So more about that later. Mate, going off the food to fatty food. Oh, not fatty food. <laughs> you put high field to fatty. Yeah, high fields is on the map. Yes, new KFC for high fields. And new KFC, so they've got a subway's gone. Did they close the subway? Not sure. No, I'm not sure. But they've got a McDonald's KFC now, so definitely um, Highfields is still going ahead there. But interesting, you talk about yeah. you talk about fatty foods, You can st even when doing what I do, we still eat KFC mm -hmm. occasionally, but yeah. we, we don't upsize it and we don't have the soft drink. Okay. We just yep. have a normal meal with water and yep. it's actually not too bad. Okay. You look up, you compare it to if you have the upsides with everything that big, mm -hmm. no wonder that, and it's... There's a whole thing around stomach stretching and fast food and mm -hmm. all these sorts of things, which, which frightens everyone. We won't do that today. No. no. It's just interesting. If you do it smarter, mm -hmm. you can slap it. Wow. No, that's, that's really cool. And I must admit, I haven't... I mean, I'm all about supporting local shopping. Mm -hmm. local. I went to Jilly's on Sunday with Paula after we finished setting the studio up here. I really haven't... I've been to Aaron's yeah. place, but I've been doing a lot of cooking at home. But I haven't been doing a Jeff McDonald's sharing my experiences. But... Um, 
I'm, I've been loving what I'm doing at home, cooking shanks and that sort of thing. Aunt Julie's good. My, uh, oh, my Julie's a burger, the yeah. bacon, egg, potato yeah. burger. Well, my accountant, which is Elliot's accounting, yep. Heath Bateman, look yep. him up. Um, <laughs> he and I have a habit of buying each other a coffee, but we don't yep. see each other, so you just walk into Julie's and I have his coffee paid for you. Okay. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> oh, I love that stuff, so that, that's really cool. Um, ben Bunnings, Karen went off. Did you see Karen? Did you? Have I, a look at that. I saw it, but I didn't watch the video. Oh, I just well, went, I can't bring myself to watch a Karen video. Do you, do you want a 16-year-old, year 11 student version? Because my daughter gave it to me in the car this morning. I want to see what she it. Again. She said, Dad, what kind of idiot thinks that it's their right to make everyone sick? And I'm like, well, that's incredibly mature that's of you. That's from a 16-year-old. There you go. Yeah. She goes, she goes, well, I said, I, I said, I, she's weird. Before I go to the garage, she said, I hope she's happy. Yep. <laughs> See you this afternoon, Dad. Bye, mate. Bye. Well, that guy in the States, he was 30 years old. He said he wasn't going to wear a mask or anything. Yeah. And um, bang, got the Rona and um, yeah. 24 hours. He was, he was gone. So hit, you know, him, hit him like a ton of bricks. Yep. And that was it. He was out. Got him. So. So what's on the cards today, mate? You've been doing deliveries, you're on the road? Yeah, doing a couple of deliveries, running around. Um, I'm doing, just taking hip hop safety gear this morning okay. and getting that organised. And Sarah's on holidays for a week, so okay. I'm assuming half those vibrations are people going, there's no Sarah, we're now, we need you to do something now. Got to do some work, yeah. Absolutely, but no, no, Sarah's on a very well-earned week off, and okay. it's, um, it's going to be a good morning. It's going to be busy, and hopefully lots of uniform orders, and... Yeah. And see what else we can do to help the world. Hip pocket, they rock it. At hip pocket, we rock it. That's right. Are you still socking it? You got the socks? We can never get the sock videos up, you know. We, we were trying a sock video oh, thing and we, did, we tried a couple. Was that. Who was, oh, it was Craig Burgess from um, Warwick Lifestyle Properties. He's yeah. got a sock puppet that yeah. he's using. It's really cool. So, really good. So. Mate, thanks for coming in today. That's and right. I know, you, look, you're so flat out and the phone's buzzing away. I know. It? Thanks for coming it's in. It's good when it, 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 I'll be unhappy if the phone stops ringing. <laughs> That's right. Don't forget homeless for a week. Graham's going to drop some money in our account. Uh, or he's going to come. So apparently I am. <laughs> Send my wife a bill. Just, just five dollars. <laughs> just, just a coffee donation. That'd be great. We're look, 25 off our target. I know. We're, we're 25 dollars short of reaching. So we're, we're getting there. Oh, I'll so. give you 25. But um, that'd be great. Look, I'm Daryl Nicholson with uh, Graham Strang from uh, Hip Pocket Workwear and Safety out at Anzac Avenue. So Toowoomba 4358 TV, more than just a postcode. Thank you for joining us with Good Morning Toowoomba. Remember to like and share us on Facebook. Check us out on Instagram. I'm Ben Epsi.